Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be breaking down the brand new, it looks like three Invincible Jason Tatum and Vince Carter that are coming out today here in NBA 2K24, my team. This is a W. It is. I'm giving 2K some credit here. They, I, I'm, I'm a little surprised by this, to be honest. Looks like they're giving us invincible cards of the 2K25 cover athletes, JT and Vince, neither of whom have invincibles yet, and it looks like they will both be free, which is very, very cool. I'm not sure how you get these cards yet. I'm sure we'll find out here in just a little bit, and I'll definitely make a video letting y'all know when I know about how to get these cards. But this is... I would consider this a legitimate success, a legit W by 2K to actually drop something like this where the cards are as attainable as they are. Um, I'm a fan. I am a fan of this. Assuming that these cards are actually relatively easy to attain, gives you an opportunity to get two probably guys who are a lot of people's favorite players in the game. I mean, shout out to um, Celtics fans out there. I know my boy Ben is a huge Vince Carter fan. There's a lot of probably Vince Carter fans out there. Like... There are people who are going to be very excited about this, and I think this is cool. So I'm hoping we see some good animations, and hopefully these cards are really good, but they look very solid. I mean, I assume as Invincibles, they're going to have basically perfect stats of badges, so they'll be super solid on paper, but this is a legit dub, and honestly, a surprising one. I just didn't expect 2K to give away two free Invincibles like this. This is cool, though, for the 2K25 cover athletes to get free cards in 2K24 and actually good ones at that. Now, I will say Tatum being small forward, power forward is definitely a little bit of a letdown, and it makes me worried that these cards are going to have the same exact animations as their previous cards but maybe i'll be surprised we'll see before we hop into it if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button help me push towards the 30,000 subscriber mark on the channel i upload every single day tons of consistent daily my team content would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe and without further ado let's hop right into it let's discuss this vince first so vince is 6'6 6'9 wings minute shooting guard a little bit undersized yes but still an exceptional card 70 hoffs seven gold badges i'm not gonna lie i was a little worried when i saw 59 that he was gonna have less hall of fame badges than all the other invincibles but he doesn't what is he missing drop stepper float game hook specialist three points break starter post playmaker and box obvious nothing of importance whatsoever perfect stats perfect badges he is absolutely exceptional no doubt about it the question with this card is exclusively animations vince release on very quick pro 2 fade d book dribble style steph escape and uh, i don't know i don't know about that i'm gonna be honest that's a little disappointing um instead of even Kyrie dribble style what why does he have d book instead of Kyrie? And then uh, his drag back isn't John Wall either. He's got, wow, Vince drag. He's, they actually did not, that's just disappointing. I'm gonna be completely honest. I'm, I, I had Levine dribble style on his early cards. His, this card had D-book dribble. They gave him the same six as his Dark Matter. They didn't even give him Kyrie dribble style like his 100 overall has. That's, I'm not totally shocked, I guess, but I'm a little, I'm a little disappointed. I'll be totally honest. I guess, I don't know. They're free Invincibles, so why would I expect 2K to actually juice up the free cards? They generally don't, with the exception of like certain mode rewards and stuff like that occasionally. But I mean, this card will be good. There's no doubt about it. It's a free Invincible and a good one with a nice release, Pro 2 Fade. I actually really like Vince cards this year. If y'all go back and watch the gameplays that I've done with Vince Carter cards this year, I always hoop with him. I don't know why. I used his Dark Matter card on my team for a while when I pulled it out of the Vortex set. Um, like, I really do think Vince is a good card, and I think he'll be fun to use, but I, I wish his animations were maybe a little bit better. That's my one critique with the card. It could be slightly better, and I'm not saying they're terrible, but Steph Escape isn't the best. D-Book Dribble Style is good, not incredible, and uh, Vince Drag Back and a Mediocre Behind the Back is not exactly what you're looking for either. He's not terrible but he's not quite as elite as you'd probably want him to be tatum i'm assuming is the same uh, steph escape steph yep same 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 very bleh. it's the same six i mean he's got a mediocre dribble style um steph escape which isn't great not a top tier behind the back pro 2 fade is great his release is really nice but we already got a free dark, dark matter jason tatum that is basically i mean realistically the same card as this let's just compare him to the free dark matter tatum that we got for the celtics winning the title uh and yeah it's better stats better badges across the board but is there anything super duper important i mean the improved standing duck is nice slight stat boost across the board defensively but nothing too crazy like i'm gonna be completely honest i don't think we're gonna see a significant significant difference in the performance of this tatum card versus that tatum card um I mean, badge-wise, are there any really important badges that are, like, on Hoff now? I guess, like, a Hoff Interceptor, Hoff Pick Dodge, or Hoff Break, or Hoff Ankle Braces, Hoff Challenger. Like, some of the defensive stuff is nice. Hoff Unpluckable is nice. But as a whole, I don't see enough here that really is, like, game-changing. I feel like this Tatum is going to play very similarly to his Dark Matter, and I honestly feel like Vince is going to play very similarly to his Dark Matter as well. And, like, at this point in the game, I mean, Tatum's not even... 
Tatum's not even shooting guard eligible, so you're forced to play him at small forward where he's undersized. Um, Vince is, again, I mean, at this point in the year, a little bit undersized to shooting guard position. And again, a guy like Lynn Rice, who we got in season six, is noticeably better than both of these cards, for sure. Um, there's, I think, several free shooting guard small forwards at this point that are probably a little bit better than these guys just because they didn't get those upgraded animations. And so I'm not exactly like i'm not this isn't amazing you know what i mean i don't want to it's good it's 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 free content it looks like and it is pretty good but it's not this amazingly elite phenomenal content that i think we were kind of hoping that it would be is kind of what i'm saying here um i don't know i'm not i'm, I'm not trying to I, I this is better than what they've been characterized by giving us recently so i don't want to sit here and just complain and bash the company but it's just not quite awesome i didn't expect it so it's better than nothing but it just continues the theme. The free stuff is always a little bit worse with the exception of a couple of top rewards each season, which obviously there always are a few good top rewards, but eh, I don't know, just eh. I, I'm not a big, I'm not a huge fan of these changes to be completely honest, or of these cards, I should say. It could be worse. It's it, hopefully they're at least easily attainable. And like, hopefully it's not big agenda groups you have to complete to get the cards. Hopefully it's like, do this one challenge and get this card or even like locker code. If this is a locker code, that would be great. If it's like a three or four hour grind, it's a lot less great i'll be completely honest so that's that's kind of going to determine whether or not this is wrl content because these cards are basically just perfect stat and badge wise versions of their dark matter cards is basically what they are and i think that's the pretty much the easiest way to explain this content today so with that being said i think that's where i'm going to call the video because i don't have that much else to say um i wish i could be more excited about this but i'm just I, i'm just not the cards are not that great and with everything 2K has done, I mean, I'll just say that this, this isn't getting me back on the game, and I don't think it's getting other people back on the game either. I think a lot of people who are off this game, they get off the game at this point, and they're off for good. You know what I mean? Like, I think 2K has lost a lot of their player base, and apparently because some whales will spend money on the game still, that's enough. For, that's okay with them. I, I don't know. I just think things don't change next year. It's going to be really bad. Like I said, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate you all. Peace.